Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I want to talk about finding probabilities using the empirical rule. We just saw a video on that, so if you want to go back and watch that first, but I can sum it up right here. And um, we have one standard deviation from the middle is 68%, and two standard deviations is 95%, and three standard deviations is 99.7%. So 99.7% of the values of the data set you're looking at should fall, and the normal curve will fall uh, between three standard deviations below and above. That's what we're talking about. And in this case, we're talking about a mean salary of 150,000, so that's right here in the middle, and a standard deviation of 25,000, so that means every time you go up, one standard deviation, you add 25,000, and every time you go down, you're subtracting 25,000. So the question, first question is, what percent of the time is a salary between $125,000 and $175,000? Well, that's just right here, in between 125 and 175, and that's one standard deviation to the left and one to the right. Therefore, it's going to be 68%. So no calculations necessary. It's just one of those values that we're given. In the second one, it says, what's the probability that a salary is more than 175,000? So 175,000 is here. That's one standard deviation to the right. And then everything more than that. Well, what we have to do is figure out what's the area outside of that first standard deviation and then divide by two because here's the first standard deviation in here. We want to know what's the area outside of that and then divide that by two and we'll just have that right tail that we're looking at. So in order to do that, I'm going to take 100% and I'm going to subtract 68%. That's that first standard deviation interval. And that gives me 32%. And if I divide that by two, I get 16%. So 175,000 and above is 16%. Now, if I look at the next one, it says, what percent of the time is the salary 100,000 or less? And 100,000 is actually two standard deviations to the left. So since we're two standard deviations to the left, what we're interested in is find the area outside of those two standard deviations and then divide by two because we're only looking at one half of that or the left side. So we can see that the area between two standard deviations is 95%. So what I'm going to do is take 100%, I'm going to subtract the 95%, that's all this area, and it leaves the two tails there. And then I'm going to take that 5% and divide by 2 and see that on the, the little tip over here is 2.5%. And the last one I'm looking at is what's the probability that the salary is at most 150000 At most means 150000 or less. If you think about a bowling score, the most you can get is 300, but obviously you can get less than that. But the most always is like the cap and then everything below that. So that's what we're looking at right here in this picture. And so 150,000 is the mean. So we're right here in the middle, and that means that 50% of the values lie below it and 50% above it. So if you're asked what, what's the probability that something is at the mean or less, that's going to be 50%. It would be the same answer if they asked what if it was more than uh, 150,000 or more. That would be to the right, but it would still be 50% because 150,000 divides that down the middle. All right, have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you next time.